Hey Virgo, welcome back. It's your weekend reading, Virgos. Uh, a quick shout out to the very generous, kind-hearted person who purchased this deck for me as I posted in the community tab. Uh, just want to say thank you. I have no idea who you are, so if you'd like to send me an email so I could personally thank you, that would be awesome. But we are going to use this deck for your weekend reading. So if you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video where I am running 25% off all of my readings until the end of October. So go and grab yours. Okay, Virgo. Love messages for the weekend. My goodness, we are October 18th through the 20th. So let's see. What is going on? Shout out to the mods for being here and everyone else in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you're starting with old school, right? Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in the head. You have butterfly evolving growth, new phase, releasing the past and releasing these replaying events. There's some preoccupation with either things that were said Re you replaying conversations okay and uh some codependency issues possession control and emotional block okay so i do feel like um there is a releasing happening here for sure there's a new phase happening in your life now as far as the weekend goes this will be significant okay over the weekend as far as addictions go virgo I feel like maybe there's a releasing of some codependency. Let me see what else you have. I really love this deck. Okay. Yes. Look, girl with a snake. Listen to me. Snake charmer energy here, Virgo. <sighs> Boundaries. This is the new phase. Having to set boundaries for yourself. Right? It's not for other people. It's for yourself. So people know where you stand. Okay? People... If you don't have boundaries, obviously anyone is going to test and try you. Your kids will try you, family members, your, your, your work colleagues, employers, customers, clients, romantic partners. If you have no boundaries, people are going to try you. Your freaking dog is going to test you, okay? Um, because everybody wants what they want. That's just how this is. So even you might be going through this place or time or thing in your life where you're not sticking to your routine or your boundaries or promises that you make to yourself. Okay. Maybe there's a lot of partying going on um, or too much indulgence or, you know, some kind of partying energy. You do have some time with friends, though. I see having fun over the weekend, living in the moment. So this is really good energy for you. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, you got that self-indulgence. Okay. So self-indulgence is good as long as it's not overindulgence, okay? <laughs> but look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I feel like, um, Virgo, the most important message so far for you here is you do need to take a look at past patterns over this weekend um, and ways that you allowed yourself to be taken advantage of in your life. Take a real good look at the conditioning that you received somewhere on, on your journey. You had some kind of conditioning that said that you were someone that um that you were supposed to enable others or someone else um you may have experienced being charmed or used by someone or some people and there's a boundary issue crossing boundaries so virgo this is all about your your previous thinking previous conditioning okay so this weekend is like big time right nobody's a victim unless you make yourself a victim okay i mean no, I don't want to say that. That doesn't sound right. There are true victims out there. And your experience is valid, okay? However, you experience something. However, there's a fine line because I feel like, and I'm probably going to get a rash of shit for this, but I have to just say what's on my mind here. You know me. There's a fine line 
that needs to be recognized here. If you have, you know, people, there's, who said it? Catherine Hepburn? People really, people can't take advantage of you unless you let them. Okay, now I know there's circumstances and this is the caveat where you're just walking through a parking garage and boom, shit happens and you have no way to defend yourself. But I'm not talking, excuse me, talking about those exceptions. I feel like there's a time and a place for everything, but I feel like it's time to take up the sword for yourself. It's time for you to put those boundaries where they need to be and wherever you feel like you can self-reflect and say, hey, you know what, I kind of played a role in this by allowing this to happen right because what are my options did I have options if you had other options in a particular situation but you chose the option of people pleasing or being nice it's time to stop that okay because that's a that's a code that's a form of codependency people pleasing is a manipulative way of doing things to try to make everybody else happy so that you so you're not rocking the boat and or upsetting the apple apple cart so and and i'm not trying to give you a therapy session i just feel like because lord knows i've been in your shoes i understand how it happens and i feel like your message here is to look at your outdated thinking and your conditioning over this weekend okay um it's it's very well you were the girl with the snake hey hey but i love you virgo and i have a lot of confidence in you that you can look at yourself and say i think maybe uh part of this had something to do with me and i'm going to reflect on that this weekend i hope you're able to do that and if you self-reflect you're like nope them MFers did it to me. Nope, absolutely it wasn't me. Then so be it. Then put your boundaries up even further with certain people, or at least for yourself, right? Now, you have this butterfly energy over this weekend with partying, okay? So I feel like this is beautiful. This is evolving. This is growth to the next phase for your weekend, okay? Releasing this past and, and being joyous and happy. Maybe you're going to go to the casino or hit the beach over the weekend all right maybe you're gonna go look at the butterflies or watch the 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 leaves color change over the weekend it's getting out there and if you're single being happy about being single there is i don't know why there's such a stigma on being single i think it's fan freaking tastic i think it's a wonderful thing to be single i think if you're in that position enjoy it really really enjoy it and spend time with people who care about you people that matter to you living in the moment okay and and so either this is something you're going somewhere this weekend and you're going to experience just a some flights of fancy or a feeling of just feeling free and enjoying yourself definitely definitely go for it okay now you do have self-indulgence sitting with the addiction card so hey healthy self-indulgence is a good thing okay your self-worth and your value are very important over this weekend. You need some time to heal. Maybe do some shadow work and start appreciating yourself more, Virgo. But if you have some codependency issues or feelings of obsession or restraint, if you feel like you might be a little possessive or controlling or there's an emotional block, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like indulge in the healing, not in the addiction over this weekend. Or reflect. Okay, or look at some kind of shadow work. I mean, your addictions, everybody's got them. I don't think addiction in itself is, I don't know why I always give my two cents, but I, for some reason, I just feel like I always need to. God, help me. I really should stop. But I feel like, I don't, I don't feel like addiction overall is bad. I mean, if you're addicted to healthy eating and exercise, you know, and, and, and that kind of stuff, you know, the good stuff, I think that's, I think that's fine. But I also believe in everything in moderation as well. So if you're going to choose an evil, choose the lesser of the two evils is what I'm hearing. Okay. But be careful with overindulgence in the negative stuff now let me just give you a couple more i am going to pull from the tarot so don't worry it's not going to be all the uh oracle but i really felt like yeah you know what let's give this deck let's break this deck in you're breaking it in with me we're doing this together okay what else virgo all right you do have a karmic relationship resentments and triggers perception intensity letting go turmoil fleeting okay karmic relationship very significant over this weekend okay let's see 
All right. Camera. Reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past, perception. Oh, what did I just... I did not. Okay. I just saw that picture. Looking at your pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So there's a, there's a karmic. There's a karmic who's... If you have pictures between you and this person... You know how like the old days when the soldier goes off to war and they didn't have a way to communicate, they just maybe write letters once a month or every six months, they would keep a picture in the wallet of their person and they would often look at the picture because it feels like home. <laughs> I don't know if that's the situation here, but somebody's missing you and maybe you're missing them too. You could be, right? Um, and if it's karmic, which means there's um, turmoil, fleeting energy between the two of you. It's kind of interesting how we say turmoil, fleeting turmoil, intensity, and then needing to let go triggers. So this issue is coming up. I feel like there's two people or one, at least one person who's having a hard time letting you go. And it was a very difficult relationship. Okay. And it could be you as well. You can reverse this. There's a there's definitely a learning from the past energy playing here and, and a desire to maybe try to make new memories that are happy and not the bad. Um, I feel like somebody doesn't want to remember the bad stuff, but I do feel like someone's very nostalgic, you know, making memories, making new memories here twice. Someone's very nostalgic, nostalgic, right? <laughs> I'm making up words here. Nostalgic about you and they... They just keep looking at your pictures or picture could be that or looking for them, looking for pictures. Let me, I'll get a little more clarity on this. I uh, just, okay. You've got the emperor. So it could be an Aries, but this is someone, I feel they're pretty profound. They could, they're in a, they're in an authority position or you are, um, this is the emperor. This is someone who's older. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, you're at a distance to this person. Oh wow, okay. Ego, ego, big time. Oh, somebody got their ego, yeah, boom. Hold on, what is... Somebody got their ego um, handed to them <laughs> on a silver platter. You know what I'm saying? Destroyed. Totally destroyed. Major, major arcana. That's Scorpio energy too. Could be. It's a Mars. It, Mars ruled sign. So it's either Aries or Scorpio. All right. And you've got the Hermit. It could be a Virgo. What the hell's going on? Oh, yeah. Somebody was stealing or being deceitful or lying. Okay. That's the karmic. The karmic connection between you and another person and despite all the negativity negativity that might have happened i feel like i still miss you despite all and that's karmic for sure despite all the negative and no maybe it's just true love but maybe there's a separation right even with the three of wands you and this person are at a distance from each other maybe emotionally physically whatever it is there's still a missing and thinking about another person happening here all right i just wanted to see that let me see seeking kind of oh i feel like someone is okay they're saying someone is trying to reflect on either running away why they did that or escaping there's escapism there's avoidance there's um betrayal some it, it, not heavy duty but it's big enough where it counts uh let me see here uh, dishonesty. Okay. You know what, you guys? We're going through this. We're going through the Oracle deck. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Some backstabbing. Heartbreak and pain. Separation and loss. Deception and lies. Shocking attack. I'm telling you. That's confirming it. Yes. So a karmic. You're karmic. And I'm just going to say this, right? Because you already know how you feel. And I don't know if I need to tell you. But your karmic partner, that relationship that you got away from this person's missing you like crazy 
They're, they're looking for your pictures. They want you to take new pictures and send them. <laughs> or they want you to post them, I'm hearing. I know some of you are like, I'm not even on social media. They wouldn't even have my picture. They want to see new pictures of you or see you. and But mostly new because you're at a distance. That's all they can probably get. Okay. Now, here you go, Virgo. Some of you are getting that engagement ring. Okay, higher commitment. Oh, this this person, oh my gosh. Somebody is so in love with you. Like, enough so, like, it's going to propose. Or come in with that commitment. Some kind of commitment. They don't want to lose you. I feel like they're reflecting on their karmic role in the relationship. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you got the snake. So this person... They feel like they've got competition, but here's wedding rings. They don't know if you're getting... This person wants to lock you down before somebody else does. That's the message. Whoever they are, you know, I called out some signs there, but it could be, you know, who your person is specifically. But definitely want to, like, lock you down before you're gone. Before you're gone. Hmm. Okay. Very difficult relationship. Some karmic relationship could be karmic twin. Lessons needing to be learned here. So either they're going to come in with that or they're going to be looking to see if you're in a committed relationship with somebody else. But I mean, it's, I feel like they don't, okay, <laughs> they're looking to be shocked, all right? They, they, I don't know if you are. Uh, you might be. Maybe you are. Maybe you've received a ring from someone. You're already in a relationship with someone else. Or some of you are. But I, I just, either they're looking to see if you are, uh, this person wants to be, they don't want to lose you. They want to lock it down for sure. Dragonfly, lighthearted, adapt, finding out and change things coming to light. Okay. They're going to, they're going to, they're looking to find out. And if they find out that you are not with somebody else, they are going to be coming in over this weekend, especially if there's any sign that you are absolutely not with someone else. They're going to be coming in. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm just telling you right now. I don't know if that's a good thing. I mean, it says karmic. Now, sometimes it is, and sometimes it just feels like it is. I, do, I don't know your story, but... Okay. The phoenix. There's a, yeah, a new phase. Rekindling. Jeez. Okay. I'm telling you, this just keeps speaking. It's almost like I'm speaking, and the cards are just kind of backing up what I'm saying. And that feels like Aries right there with that Phoenix. Phoenix can also be Scorpio as well. So I feel like we're right on point here. You either had some kind of connection with a Mars, uh, Mars ruled, okay? Whether it is in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm more so maybe sun, moon, and Venus. R rising, yeah, it could be. Uh. So somebody's rising from the ashes, <laughs> coming back from the dead, Virgo. You're you're probably going to hear a, from this person over this weekend, if not the week coming up. Healing heart, wow. Healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship, wow. Virgo, there's healing. Look at all these delicious heart-shaped cookies. Oh my gosh, I haven't had anything sweet since the end of September. This, yes, they want to heal it, Virgo. They want to heal the toxicity in the relationship, any abuse, apologies, sorry, let's fix this. It's it's like the whole, you know. And if you tell me you don't want this person back, you don't need to tell me. You need to tell them. Okay. Here's death. Okay. The relationship is over, no second chance. That, that's what I'm just saying. For some of you, it's like, no. Relationship is over, no second chances. I've grown. I've transformed. What's dead is dead. What's dead is dead. And you're ascending. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So the cards are saying what the cards are saying. You've learned. You've expanded. You're transcending. You're preparing for union and a new phase of your life. All right, Virgo. That's... that's that okay now they're talking about you've got someone in your life who's a runner fear of intimacy running away 
huge in intensity with this person and then a letting go energy. So it's like coming together, extremely intense, and then nothing. It's like it's from it's light to dark. There's no gray in this relationship. It goes from light to dark. Turmoil and fleeting again. There's a karmic runner and running, um, running away and then running back in. Why do they want to keep talking about this? I feel like for you, it's like, no, it's not going to work because you keep on running, right? You might say that to yourself or you might be saying that to the person. This stopping the pattern, silent treatment, running away, giving the silent treatment, separating, cutting the whole relationship out. See, this, this is the problem here, okay? And I feel it's the running energy. Someone has a fear of intimacy running away. This is, this is the problem that you're dealing with, really. It's, it's someone who just gets so scared when it gets so intense. It's like putting your finger over that hot flame and then you gotta pull it up, pull it away real quick. Like there's a, a lack of um, continuity in the relationship. Now maybe this is something you've experienced with this person off and on, off and on, the intensity and then the pulling away. And it's, it's quite passionate, <laughs> quite, quite, quite passionate. Intensity and letting go. Okay, but it, it can be also chaotic. It can be toxic. So somebody coming in here wanting to heal the relationship and stopping an addiction, that kind of stuff, good for them. But yeah, that's a big look. And now you have the chaser. And that's what I feel like is going on here. The runner and the chaser. These are extremes, okay? And I, it's one thing to pursue someone and to be in the relationship steady, like that they used to call that, hey, we're going steady. That means steady as she goes, steady. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's just being steady with each other, keeping it steady. But somebody tends to pull away or disappear for days or weeks or months and that kind of thing. And it's just chaotic, okay? This is the dynamic of the relationship here, the runner chaser. So I don't know, I feel like maybe you both are taking turns in this okay the cheese so here's the thing the one who runs away it's because they have a fear of intent uh, intimacy the intimacy is it's 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 intense for them the runner this is an avoidant okay the chaser is the anxious this is the one who has a fear of abandonment so they chase there's codependency on this issue okay and sometimes these can kind of dance with each other but th it's always the case in the relationship you get the runner and the chaser always the case right because people who have that secure attachment and aren't dealing with these insecurities are the ones who go steady right so what's the goal you get secure that's the goal that's the goal whether you're with the person or not you get secure unless you enjoy this if you enjoy this roller coaster up and down back and forth with a possible narcissist or someone who love bombs, self-absorbed, dictates the relationship, one-sided. If you enjoy that, have at it. But I will tell you, I will tell you, this person is going to be reaching out and really going the full nine yards over this weekend, possibly over the weekend or going for, further. Um, but maybe you need to stop the pattern, right? I feel like you do. I feel like like that's what I'm hearing here. You need to stop the pattern and get into more, not a karmic relationship, but a soulmate. Okay, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. Okay, not every karmic relationship is supposed to be a, a soul, uh, a soulmate relationship. Karmic, karmic is something that's being taught to you and something being taught to them as well. Okay. One more card, one more oracle, and then we'll get into the rest. Please, spirit, one more. Oh, they gave you two. No, they gave you three. Okay. All right. Healthy choices, good. Make healthy choices, self-love and self-care. Love and life, being happier in love and life. Cupid's arrows, have faith. Love is coming. You're getting a surprise invitation over the weekend where you're like struck by love. Okay, that's really sweet. And then you also have... Blowing kiss, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. Virgo, let me tell you, I feel like if you give up this karmic thing, this is what will 
uh, come to you. It's kind of like someone that instead of nitpicking or treating you like shh, um, this is appreciation, this is unconditional love, this is fairness, this is giving and receiving. This is a very healthy energy here. If you just hold out, if you go back, you know, sometimes people, you know, sometimes people, I guess, will go back to the devil they know versus the devil they don't know. And, and totally makes perfect sense because there's a fear or they will chase because they have the hope that maybe they could change another person, you know, and I feel like that's the same thing on whoever your person is on their end on the, the karmic side. If, if they figure they could change your mind to be with them. I don't know, Virgo. This is tough. Uh, karmic, look, let me tell you this. <laughs> if after a year, it didn't go anywhere, like almost Im immediately after that first year, then it's time to go. Do you know what I mean? It's really time to go. That's how I feel. I'm not saying you, you have to do whatever you want. But I feel like if somebody's coming back after a really long time and they're going to sit down and like propose, like where the hell were you for the past however long? What happened to you? What? Why? Why now? You had all this time. And especially if they're with another person, I'd watch out for that energy. All right, let me get a couple more messages here for you. A little more tarot. All right, wake up call. You're having a wake up call, Virgo, over this weekend for sure. Okay, you're going to be figuring out or coming to an understanding. This is a huge reevaluation. This is a huge forgiveness, letting things go, acceptance of some very important things. Uh, but uh, you get clarity. You figure out what you need to do here for yourself. Okay, King of Wands. So you take up the reins for sure. Okay, and for some of you, it's clarity about a fire sign. Aries, especially, okay, or Mars, Mars ruled is Aries. Yes, letting go of this toxic healing. Some of you, I'm not even going to say it. Letting go of this toxic, this is recovery. Leaving an abusive situation for some of you. And maybe even coming to terms that maybe this was just all about SEX or just having fun. And for some of you, I don't know, I'm just hearing some of you, what is going on? Hold on. There's a grandma and a little girl out by the window picking pine cones. And the little girl's kicking my wall. Get that kid together, lady. All right, let's see. Letting go of a Capricorn, letting go of a Scorpio, letting go of a fire sign. Okay. Recovery, healing, beautiful. I feel like you get a message. You get the call. Look, there's the triumph, the trumpet. You get the call. You heed the, you heed the call. Wow. Grief. Five of cups. Hmm. You turn your back to someone over this weekend, Virgo, and you cut right through the BS. You're not returning because too much grief, too much pain, too much sadness. Who wants that? Oh, let me go to Target and see if I can pick up a bucket of sadness today. I could really use some. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's like, no, you're done. You're turning your back to that. A life filled... You weren't put on this planet, Virgo, to be sad. You were put You were put on this planet to be happy, joyous, and free. Not to be dragged down or hopeless or a sense of feeling hopeless, right? That's what I feel like is going on. Yeah, here you go. Standing at the crossroads. Let's see. What shall I choose? Should I choose happiness? Should I walk a new path? Or should I stay in this struggle codependency poverty mindset in my life with a particular person or just in general you have a choice and that's what i was saying in the beginning of the reading you do have a choice even if you were victimized you don't have to stay that way you have a choice now pull up your big girl big boy panties and start the walk of happiness freedom and joy 
I'm walking to a new life. And you know what? Let me tell you what. It's just not going to be delivered on your doorstep like Amazon. You got to cultivate this. You're responsible for this. Nobody else can do this for you. You got to make it happen. I'm on fire today. I don't know what it is. There you go. Queen of Wands energy. Bold. Brave. Be bold. Be brave. Take a lead. Be powerful. Be courageous, Virgo. Be feisty. Have that confidence and self-assurance. You can accomplish anything. You can do anything. Get to work, Virgo. Stop pussyfooting around and get to work, Virgo. It's time to make it happen. Self-discipline. Day in and day out. Each day contributing to creating a better life for yourself and moving forward in whatever area, your career, building that business, getting that book published, creating that art that you've been working on, putting yourself out there, enjoying your life. Look at this. You take on the energy of the Queen of Wands, masculine or feminine. Look at those sunflowers, yellow. Yellow is the color of happiness and joy. And the white that she has wrapped around her shoulders, that's purity. She's the queen of queens, the king of kings, okay? This is taking action. Instead of staying in this, I'm going to be hurt again if I do it. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, without risk, there is no love. Without risk. Yeah, you can have minimal happiness you know i mean that's fine if, the, if you're comfortable with that i mean i know there's some of you in retirement like yeah you know, i'm not cliff cliff diving no it's just not my thing that's okay you don't have to do that but you can't live your life in fear like you choose your path you either come from a place of, of fear or come from a place of love okay for yourself we're talking about yourself right you've been through it virgo i see you've been broke busted and disgusted you have felt the pressure of things you have baggage you have scars you have injuries from whatever you've dealt with in your life and that's just par for the course but let me tell you i feel like those risks that you have taken in life served you well because you learned great lessons don't let them scar you to the point where you can't move forward and be happy and i feel like without great love i'm sorry without great risk there's no great love, right? So change the heartbreak. And and what do I mean by that? That's like with the wheel of fortune. It's a mindset, Virgo. It's a mindset. Roll away from this broken heart, this third party thing that happened, this cheating thing that happened. Detach yourself from it. Roll away from it. And the mindset is, everything I touch turns to gold. Spirit, God, has favor on me. And things are going to be okay. Just change your attitude and everything around you changes. That's what I feel like your message is here this weekend. Believe. And you will be. I believe that you are is really what it is. The law of manifestation. It's like, I am worthy. Remember that movie? I am good. I am helpful. I am worthy. You know, I am worthy of God's love. I am perfect. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Remember that. And, and take up your sword. Stand up and fight for what you want in your life. I know it's making it sound like y'all are chicken shits, but I don't feel that about Virgos. And if you're feeling this way right now, you have that temporary like sadness or, or what what have you, or you're just exhausted. No, you have to, you have to, you have to persevere. You have to, and go with a joyful heart. Go with a positive mindset. Now, I'm not telling you to have that toxicity of joy uh, what do they call that toxic positivity i think that's a bunch of crap and that does not mean you should stay in or be or seek a relationship that's toxic and then just go around with blinders on and tunnel vision and be like no i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy no 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 real joy real happiness comes from deep within your heart um i don't know who needed to hear that but somebody somebody got told that they are a negative thinker or that they think too much 
or that they are always seeking out negative things. And, you know, Virgo, only you can determine if that's true or not. And if that's true for you, and you're saying to yourself, yeah, I do tend to look a little bit negatively, you got to find a balance. And you got to purposefully seek out positive, right? But listen, you have to have the negative as well to balance things out, right? Going through life with that toxic positivity is dangerous. It's dangerous. So if you are in that place, it might be good to avoid that, okay? You just want to find a nice yin-yang balance. Be like a battery. Battery's got a positive and a negative. Okay? Nice, well balanced <laughs> battery. <laughs> All right, what else do you have here? You have passion. Try something you've never done before this weekend, Virgo. I don't care what it is. Find your passion. I feel like some of you already know you have a passion, but something's holding you back from doing it. Maybe you just have, well, I don't think I'll be good enough, or I don't think I can accomplish this, or, you know what, just do a little bit of it, and just start small and start building. You're safe and divinely guided. You're protected, Virgo. Don't worry. There's a relationship that can stand the test of time, and guess what? Guess who that relationship is with? You, with yourself. You have to curate that relationship with yourself first before, and get and make it secure. Secure yourself before you can really ever be in a. It's no one else's responsibility to secure your to secure you. If your parents did not do it, or you didn't have the opportunity, or you were secure and you were involved in a karmic thing that just totally tore you apart you got to re you got to regain your power okay you got to regain your security and become stable okay seeking somebody else to put you back together like some kind of humpty dumpty bullshit is a joke that's not going to happen do it on your own make yourself stable physically mentally emotionally and forgive yourself please forgive yourself Forgive yourself for not leaving when you knew you should have. Forgive yourself for people-pleasing. Forgive yourself for your codependency issues. And accept who you are and then start rebuilding. These are the messages I'm getting. Then get out there and play hard. Play hard, Virgo. Get out there and enjoy your life, damn it. <laughs> this weekend, find time to laugh. Goof off. And enjoy each other, like the people who are important to you, that love you, that want to play and have fun and, and good times. Do it, Virgo. Safe to trust in this. This is not a typical weekend reading. I feel like our weekend readings are very, you know, oh, you're going to a pool party. Oh, hey, your boss is calling you for work. This is much more profound. And I'm going to have to blame it on these oracle cards. But I'm grateful for them. I really, really like them. All right. What else does Virgo need to know here? Let's go. Speaking of your boss. Okay. Also, they're saying fun times. Go out and have some fun. I don't care if that's what you're walking through the park and you're listening to a comedy podcast in your headphones. And it's making you laugh your ass off. Go for it. Whatever it is. Go out and have fun. Go dancing. Go to a concert. Maybe you already are. Go have dinner and drinks with some friends or some family or one person who just brings you joy and happiness. Happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Fun, fun, fun. And I know. I know. Some of you are those Virgos who are like, you know what? I'm an introvert. I don't really enjoy being around people. Not really. I find other things to do on my own that I enjoy that bring me happiness. And you know what, Virgo? that's good that's fine that's fine if that's what fits you that's fine not everybody I have to say this not everybody I had someone once tell me um, oh no if, if you're a loner you got to get out and be with people like I totally disagree <laughs> I just do because I just feel like 
What's wrong? There's such a stigma. What the hell is wrong with sitting by yourself or learning, studying some things? What's wrong with getting into a, a, a really good movie or a series or like, or just being alone in the park and just watching the birds? Like what? There's such a stigma. And I think the people who say, oh, you got to get out there and be with people are the people who can't be alone. And then they're just projecting. I think it's healthy as F if you can be alone and enjoy yourself being alone. And so if that's you, Virgo, and you're happy with that, don't let anybody ever tell you something wrong with you because you're not communicating or you're not hanging out with people or you're not part of the, the hip crowd. I feel like it's sheepish. The rebels are the ones who go it alone and love it, you know? Do you, Virgo. But, you know, you might be that Virgo who's like, no, i got to be around people. I can't stand being alone too long. Then go out and enjoy it, especially if you're just going through a little period of like, oh, I feel like shit. I don't want to go out. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's see. I want to take a look at your money work. Innovation. Beautiful. You, need, you will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Old ways are outdated. Outdated thinking. In invent something, create, and test some ideas, Virgo. I love innovate. You know, I'm that, like, I'm, something's wrong with me. I could, and I always say that I could do this, but I haven't done it yet. But I swear by God, I'm going to, I'm going to go do it this weekend. Find an old radio. I'm so weird. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm going to admit this. Just sit down and dis disassemble an old radio and try to put it back together. I don't know why. I just have this weird urge to do that. <sighs> I just, I like mechanical things. I like figuring out how things work. You know what I mean? Do you ever watch that show, How Things Work, or How does it, how It's Made, or How It Works? I love that shit. Okay, investment. Oh, this is a bit, Bitcoin. Now, someone I was talking to yesterday, was it Zach, or was it a tool? I can't remember which one of you. I think it might have been Zach. Hi, guys. Um, said something about Bitcoin was like starting to go up, um, or crypto. Yeah, I guess that's the same thing. I don't know. So might be something here for you to look at, Virgo. Invest in your education. Make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Okay. What else? So this is definitely, I feel like with innovation, this is like coming up with a plan to make more money. And it's something to do with crypto. Yep, and there you go. You have beginning. It's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get noticed. Build a nest egg for the future. Hooray. And there you go. I love it. Success. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You're on track. That's what I'm saying. When I saw that Eight of Pentacles, I just thought little bit each day. You're going to make it. You're going to be where you need to be. Or I know times have been tough, everybody, the last three years from financial standpoint, but that's going to change. So you just got to stay hopeful. You, we're all going to be rich again. <laughs> if you got that, you know, listen, uh, this is a Virgo channel, and we Virgos like to talk business. We like to talk money. We like to make money. We like to work. It's just, it's who we are. Yeah, there's other things about us as Virgos that we enjoy, uh, spirituality, things like that, but... <laughs> I never met an earth sign that wasn't successful. I, I haven't. And I'm not saying other zodiac signs are not successful, but I've never met an earth sign that wasn't. Never. So there's something to be said about that. Mostly Virgos. Capricorns too, honestly. Taurus could probably lighten up a little bit and make change. But Capricorns, they definitely, like Virgos are very good with routine and consistency and building. Very good with that. Capricorns are good with like innovation, right? And they're go-getters because they're cardinal signs. Virgos are mutable. So Virgos are very good with change and, and, and uh, inventing new. I don't want to say inventing new, but some, but more so taking things that are already exist and improving upon them. All right, Virgo. Make sure you're being honest with yourself over this weekend. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. And watch out for material loss, okay, which for some of you, I feel like the only thing I'm getting with that is be careful you don't lose your phone. You might lose your phone or misplace your phone this weekend 
or you might realize this weekend that you have last week or something well not la not a whole week but you know maybe earlier in the day um be careful don't hand your phone to anybody ever even if even if you hand your phone to someone and say hey um take a picture of us no 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 you got a little timer on your phone just go put it up somewhere high figure it out and let the photo the timer go off to take your picture don't hand anybody your phone ever especially to take a picture of you or do any of that no 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 okay the end of a situation brings relief there's an opportunity for new happiness there's a weight off your shoulders the end of an addiction beautiful a lot of air there and there you go there's your card the nine of pentacles here enjoying the fruits of your labors you're going to be able to virgo i promise all your hard work is going to lead to a luxurious life be able to buy yourself something special you'll be happily and successfully self-employed if that's your thing and enjoying your solitude maybe for the first time maybe you get the message like hey wait kelly's right i don't have to do anything i don't want to do i can be in my happy place for as long as i choose whether that's with other people or on my own okay all right all right you guys that was some craziness let's just get into your charms and your other messages we have taurus aquarius capricorn and aries very significant signs for you over the weekend for some of you this could be somebody else could be all of them they have a connection to or this these signs could be in your chart somewhere that you need to pay attention to all right august 23rd huey somebody's name is huey like baby huey huey lewis in the news huey okay someone's 49 we have september 8th september 15th someone's 55 63 59 74 89 we have birthday virgos of august sorry august virgos significant messages for you guys 71 september 3rd 36 july significant month for you july 2024 was profound profoundly significant month what is going on with my fingers today yes so if something happened to you in july or something occurred i don't want to say happened to you could have or something occurred in july leave a comment below or you could put it in the chat if you're if you're presently in the chat uh 86 august 30 31st 42 and September 12th. All right, you guys. Let's see what we get some names here. Somebody's name is Rue. Rue. Chuck. What's up, Chuck? Someone lives a Boca Raton. I have no idea where that is. Chuck. I'm hearing Chuck. Randy. Somebody's going to Hobby Lobby. Or is that Hobby Lobby as you're listening to this? <laughs> Cabo. 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 Is that a place? Cabo? Somebody's, uh, there's, all right, I don't know. Bachelors in Art. That's what I'm hearing. Bachelors in Art. Bachelors in Art. Uh, the Zoo. Picking up the Zoo. Someone, okay. Ho, 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 or ho. Uh, the Zoo. Why are they giving me? Uh, Christmas. Santa Claus. That's what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, really. I guess it's going to be time to start shopping for Christmas gifts. Okay. Um, they're giving me, hmm, RH factor. They just said RH factor. Okay. Somebody's, all right, new pair of shoes. New pair of shoes, they're telling me. Okay. Bach, B-A-C-H, Bach. Uh, somebody's seeking looking for a lighter brianna brianna brian brisbane queensland oh okay cho c-h-o cho 
Could be Chloe too. Cho or Chloe. Sean. S H A W N. Bish. B I S H. Ribs. Barbecue ribs. Cow. Showcase. Show floor. Showcase or show floor. Uh, asthma. Somebody's wheezing. Okay. Spooky. Shh. Quiet. Haunted house this weekend. Okay. Wash. Or wish. Nate. Nathan. Man. M A N N. I feel like they're giving me last names. Okay, your cousin showing up here. Your cousin is important. Showing up here. McCann. I never got last names. Rarely ever. San Juan. Busan. Names places. Okay, hold on. I'm getting big Asian vibes like China and all East Asia. Asian vibes. Okay, that's odd. Insane clown posse. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm sure you do. Um, Kosane. Kosane. Okay, I don't know what the hell that even means. Kosane. It's kind of like flirtates, I guess. All right. Um, North Carolina. For sure. Rhode Island, for sure. Boston. Washington. Okay. Any more states? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Nebraska. Okay. I'm done with them. All right. Let's get some charms. Crazy weekend. That's what it is. I swear. All right, you guys. You got a hanger? A hanger, okay? This is fancy. This is a fancy hanger. So, I don't know. You're getting some fancy clothes this weekend or dressing up fancy. You got some fancy hangers. Maybe you're going to get, there's uh, maybe a boutique. You're connected to some kind of a boutique this weekend or you visit one. All right, here you go. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Christmas vibes. Now I know we're not even at Halloween yet. Okay. But I'm feeling, I'm digging some Christmas vibes. Let me show this to you because let me just show you too. The back of these Oracle cards. Look how beautiful. We got a rose. All right. This is a very fancy reindeer, which you kind of see it, you guys. Do you kind of see it? Yes. This is, um, this reindeer's got all kinds. So now they're just telling me like a very old Christmas decoration, fancy reindeer, it's antique. But yeah, they're definitely giving me some kind of Christmas vibes here. Start of the season. And you also have, um, I'll give you both of them. No, yeah, hold on, let me get them. We've got shamrocks, or four leaf clovers, I should say. Shamrocks are the three petals. So definitely some Irish vibes hanging out here. Some kind of connection to Ireland, or a, two lucky breaks. You're getting two lucky breaks. The luck of the Irish is with you, Virgo. I don't care if, like, I don't care where you're from. Luck of the Irish is good for everybody. Maybe you're visiting Ireland or you're leaving this weekend to visit or you're, you're there now or it's just your ancestry. Some of you are going to find out. I just found out my, my middle son who is, how old is that kid? I think he's, he's 26, 25. I'm not sure. I should remember. He was born in 99, so 25. I don't know. Oh my God, I can't remember because I can't add, first of all. The older they are, like I always remember my oldest, he'll be, he's almost 30. But <clears throat> anyway, he's been doing our genealogy, like our ancestry, I mean. 
And apparently, I'm, I'm, I've got Cherokee Indian, but he confirmed it. I kind of knew it, but I have Native American Cherokee. I was like, wow. But I'm also Irish, so hey, maybe this will help for me too. But um, let me, I just wanted, they say, get one more charm for you. So we're going to do that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, first of all, there's another, yet a baby reindeer. Oh, <gasps> y'all, if you haven't watched that yet baby reindeer like i listen it was interesting to say the least i don't know if how much of it was true netflix netflix is they're very creative but uh maybe you're gonna watch it this weekend or you saw it if you did let me know what your thoughts were about that um but i'm just this is you know bambi rudolph vibes but also i'm just picking up baby reindeer significant you might see a re like a like a you might see two two reindeer like a like a fawn and a, and a full scale reindeer. Now, the last but not least, let me make this very clear so you can see it. You do have a crab. Okay, now some of you, I'm not warning, but be careful who, you know, you lay down with dogs, you might get fleas or crabs. Just be careful. <laughs> it's a joke, I'm just kidding. Cancer energy, okay? So there's a cancer, very significant. Zodiac, very significant. Now, maybe you have a connection with someone that's actually going through some kind of cancer treatments, chemotherapy over this weekend as well, and you're going to spend time with them. Um, but there's also the thing about this this crab, okay, is it's a hard shell, but soft in the middle. And I feel like that kind of describes you, you know, Virgo, and, and you will pinch if you're, you feel like you're, I feel like Virgos should have been cancers I <laughs> do because I just feel like because Virgos do have that hard outer shell but they're soft and sweet as gushy mushy inside of a pie you know they're very loving but they do like breaking through that shell I don't know Virgo I feel like the message here is be true to yourself be true to yourself this weekend whatever that means for you don't quit don't give up don't let anybody ever tell you who you are who you aren't blah 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 figure it out understand yourself love yourself unconditionally right oh I, but i love people un no you need to love yourself unconditionally which means you accept yourself even in your flaws even in your mistakes because we all make them right self-love wholeness affection attraction selflessness for yourself okay for yourself be so attracted to yourself that all you want to do is be with you that how because you're just such the way you would view a friend make yourself your friend <laughs> okay that's it we're done this is well over well a minute over an hour so yeah personal reading discount october 25 discount on the readings okay so definitely go check those out they're ending on october 31st so get in get in you can book ahead of time um all right, you guys. So I'll be back here on Sunday. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you enjoy the latest round of UFOs that have been lurking over Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. If you haven't seen that yet, the big mothership, go check that out. It's all over YouTube. I don't know why they haven't had press conferences about this because even the Pentagon made a statement on it. You know how I love my UFO stuff. Fascinating. And once I figure out how to work my, um, I'm telling you guys, wait. I, I think it's called OBS. Once I figure out how to work my OBS setup for the live streams, <clears throat> we're going to be doing, maybe in the new year, we're going to be doing the, the UFO channel, okay? Because I'm like fascinated. And I want you to be a part of that. All right, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. See you. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us